Miami TV presenta el nuevo programa de televisión a todo México. Los hoteles más recomendados, tecnología de punta, las mejores playas del Caribe, historias ancestrales, increíbles lugares exóticos, la belleza natural de México y el mundo. Una producción sin precedentes con Jenny Scorda Maglia te llevará a la aventura. Atrévete, es para ti. A todo México con Jenny Scorda Maglia. Hi guys, you're watching Miami TV. Right now we are sitting in the future. This is the newest transportation here in Los Amigos, Tulum. And we are hoping in the next couple of years this will be available uh, for everybody to use as a transportation. And the best thing about this is that it's 100% sustainable. So what better? Zero emission, helping the environment, getting fast to your location, and well, class. Check this out. Beautiful leather. I love it. Stay tuned to Miami TV. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Tulum. You guys know that we've been hanging out here a lot and it is the new hotspot in the world right now. So we are going to visit with one of the entrepreneurs here in Tulum, Nico Vrilmos. Did I say it right with that German accent? Yeah, perfect, Jenny. Welcome to Tulum. <laughs> Welcome to Los Amigos. Thank you. Los Amigos is so non known in Tulum, you guys. If you're into real estate, this is the place to be. You guys have been like exploding Tulum to the world. You've done so much already. Yeah, it's. I mean, it, Tulum has just 14 years como municipal, and we just got here this year. We celebrate 10 years Los Amigos in Tulum, and we we came probably before the big growing happened. So a lot of people see us as You're not, visionary, not founders, but we we came in the early phase. And what a great privilege to be part of a new community yeah. in a new area. This paradise Tulum, so for me, it turned into a dream, turned into reality. I, I think it's a, it's a visionary because back in the day, not that many people were invested in Tulum at all. I mean, you said 10 years. 10 years, the beach was so different. Everything was different. The streets were not the same. And now you have such an infrastructure going on. How many development um, are you doing right now at the moment? Yeah, we did so far 12 projects in total. And right now we have one new project, which is 101 Tulum. It's a two hectare project, more than 186 mm -hmm. units. Mm -hmm. So it's the biggest project we ever have done. Usually we surpass always our last <laughs> big challenge <laughs> and yeah it's going to be amazing it's going to be very close to the ocean you came here the streets look actually still st still simi similar to what it's been like 10 years ago because the infrastructure couldn't keep up with all this growing into loom so as we saw to, as we saw the potential into loom we saw also the problems yeah. and thought okay if I'm Tulum, so happy you're talking about that. <laughs> yeah as we as we thought okay Tulum is going to grow But someone needs to focus on a more sustainable growth. So let's be honest, the best would be if no one would build in this area. But that would mean also there would be no development for the local community, yeah. which, which lives on um, tourism, like the whole Riviera Maya. So we thought, okay, if the government decides already who wants to develop the area, we need to uh, come up with ideas how we can develop more sustainable. Right. And then we can talk a lot of things. Everything starts actually with the water, because mm -hmm. we have no infrastructure in mostly or 80% of Tulum. And we are above the biggest underground river in the world. Yeah. So we say, hey, let's not contaminate the water, maybe. Please. And so we start in our big projects here to implement, also here, a wastewater treatment plant. It's not so sexy, but it's really the most important thing huh. you have to have in your development if you are in the area like Tulum, where basically infrastructure is not there and you're really uh -huh. surrounded by nature. So you want to prevent it or you want to destroy it? And we thought there must be an offer from a developer who uh -huh. takes responsibility to make developments who who really uh, support the area support 
a community and make more sustainable development for Tulum, for Mexico, for the world. So this makes me think that our drones, you know, like DJI and stuff, they're so behind because we get like, what, 20, 30 minutes? And this is getting 30 minutes. So I'm guessing in a couple of years, you're probably going to be able to go all the way to Cancun to the airport. Is, is that maybe in your plans to, you know, talk to Cancun, see if they can make a little room for you? or? It's all depending on the innovation, evolution of technology, right? Mm -hmm. So if you see this, obviously there is no limit. You yeah. can use it as a firefighting uh, vehicle or you can use it as um, for hospitals. The, the, the applications are limitless. Yeah. And with more range, it gets even more possibilities. Yeah. So um, yeah, I think I that inspires a lot of people, hopefully inspires you guys. Yeah. And we're excited to have the development here with the first skyport for passenger drone in the entire planet. Vamos a una pausa y regresamos. Todo México con Jenny's Corda Maglia por Miami TV. Hey guys, I'm Jenny and I want to invite you to see our new show A Todo México, which means to all Mexico, here in Miami TV. Continuamos en A Todo México. Because you have on the ground station, you have uh, yeah, it's a computer who is connected um, with the drone. And here you can just like on a GPS map, you see the route, okay. how long it still takes, where you're going to go, where you are. And you can, of course, cancel and uh, confirm that everything is okay. That's more or less it, it's what you do. So you don't need to have any knowledge like a pilot. Okay. So you just press the button. I'm sure it's going to be like with an app, right? Like, Not yet, but in future, yeah. everything. Like, is it going to pick you up like an Uber? Like, hey, I'm here, or maybe close hell, you know, Not heliports? Yet. Not yet. Because <laughs> right now it needs to be operated by an operator. So yeah, we have yeah. a person here who controls, also um, supervise the flight. Ah, okay, I understand. And you guys haven't had um, much input from the city for, about, for this, right? Like, how are your permits going? Like, do you see yeah, it coming? Or? a big challenge. It's same with autonomous cars. They actually already uh, they're already there, but they need to prove safety for the government. And here in Mexico, we have the uh, AFAC, Asociación Federal um, Aeronautico Civil, and it's of course like with every government institution, it's it's a tremit, it's a process. Yeah. And right now we are uh, tremit, in tremit for a certification for the type of airplane, oh yeah, right. aircraft. Because um, usually, yeah, usually just import an aircraft which is already known. But since this is completely innovation, mm. there is not even an aircraft type where right. you can put your license plate on. So right now we're working with the authorities to get um, a certification for this type of aircraft. I think it's going to be very. Just years. <laughs> no, we don't know. We don't know I how long that. it takes. But I'm careful right now to say hey, this year because yeah, everything yeah, yeah, before yeah. was controllable for us. But since now it's in the hand of the government, I need to be careful. Yeah, but, and, but at least know, they're working on it. For the, for Mexican authorities that are watching, this is so good for the community. This is so good for the tourists. Uh, th I think you're going to be very successful with this. Usually, everyone is excited about it, yeah. and yeah, safety is important. And at least we have the attention right now because yeah. last year was still we were fighting for attention from the fact. And now uh, at least they started the process to, to look into it to get the certificate. So. Sustainability and of course the first in the world, especially uh, in this area. So yeah, awesome. I think this kind of technology makes you exciting for the future, and yeah. that's all about. Especially if you if you if you developer, we always want to develop a better future. Yeah, and yeah. if you think about it, a lot of developers make their own development, but you need to think also how people come to your place and how they leave to it and what's the footprint of them. And here you see it. We, of course, we need to have an uh, electric future. And here, <laughs> since you see that in some roads we have not even a uh, paved road or something, yeah. is hey, <laughs> maybe we jump over this and go directly <laughs> somewhere where we don't need even roads. <laughs> okay, Nico, we're gonna make a plan, and I'm gonna say two years. Uh, we're gonna do the same interview on the air. Yeah, next time you're here, we gotta fly over. Yeah. Now we know how it works. We show there you the go. infrastructure, and next time. Up in the air. Come on, authorities, we're giving you two years minimum. <laughs> See you guys. 
Vamos a una pausa y regresamos. A todo México con Jenis Corda Maglia. Recuerda suscribirte a nuestro canal de YouTube. Síguenos en nuestras redes sociales. Continuamos en A Todo México. I'm sure it's kind of like that, right? I think eh. it's cooler. Okay, is they're it, going. This uh, is cooler, okay. Because here we still... I love how Germans say cool. <laughs> it's cool. My neighbor is German and it reminds me of Schwarzenegger when they say cool. Say cool. Also, finally. So, so, uh, say, say cool. Cool. See? <laughs> All right, guys, we're getting up to the sky. Getting up to the sky. Yeah, this is the platform. We're lifting up the drone. The passengers can go right here at the track. Perfect. And then they meet the aircraft on uh, four meters. And here we have a 12 meter radius. That's what you need, exactly the same like for helicopters too. Yeah, we have a lot of tourists here, people uh -huh. invest with us. And oh, then usually they wanted to rent out the tourists because so many tourists want to come to Tulum. Yeah, yeah. And this is already running, yeah. Just open, here we, we finish a little plaza so people can do their shopping in the future or awesome. a restaurant. Oh, I, I love how the water is right And now you see the me. solar system, right? Yeah, I see them. Solar I want system. to see the transparent so ones. You, you see it right there? <gasps> yeah. These little blocks. Energy. This is also no, solar energy. Where's, where's, oh, there you are. <laughs> and I this see is, this. This is smart flower system. Yeah, we have it in the other project too. And this is smart flower most, system. I think one of the most uh, advanced solar system in the world because it turns into the sun. The sun is right up there, right? In the evening it turns and there. That's why it has a perfect angle. It inclines, right? Exactly. Huh. Like a, Does it like ever a close? Flower. It well. can close, yeah. We have here wind. wind uh, meter and if there's too much wind coming then it protects itself like huh. a, like a, like, a flower. like a hurricane like a flower, like a flower yeah. and where is this from that's from austria austria yeah. how cool is it right that everything's from a different part of the world everybody's putting a little bit of grain yeah, for sustainability from, uh, from mexico all the panels okay. produced in mexico even the transparent ones no transparent too yeah from uh, oh. provider in merida oh. and uh, the inverters come from castle germany my hometown actually Huh. Yeah, Germany is very on into sustainability as well. Well, that's what awesome. we try to integrate a lot of green space, try to at least have as much trees originally as we can and put even more plants in it. Yeah. Then cover everything with solar panels, put the smart flower in the middle, this, this, yeah. uh, the wind turbine outside, Little and then the bar. charging station <laughs> for electric cars. And the drone is... Just the tip of the, the you know. Of the <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's continue the tour. Is not famous for the casinos. Right? Tulum is not yeah. famous for the skyscrapers. Tulum is famous for nature. We have one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. We have more than 3,000 uh, cenotes here. This yeah. sinkholes where you can jump in with crystal clear water. We have the beautiful jungle you feel like in Bali sometimes. So people come here for nature. So if you don't care about nature, Tulum is not your destination. Right. And maybe and it and it's not only nature. It's aut it's authentic nature. That's why I said people don't care so much that the street is 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 not in perfect condition like in any other tourist destination, but the whole. The whole town is very authentic, real, and uh, Let's here hope you can. it stays that way a little more. Yeah, that's what I said. The best would be no development at all. Yeah, the downtown is becoming Second like. Second best oh. option is if you develop, how can we use technology to make it more sustainable? Well, I really hope that the other developments um, that are happening in Tulum take this as an example because honestly, they don't. I'm sorry to say this, but they don't give a shit, and it's really bad. Um, if you go. Deep down into downtown, it's not looking pretty. They just cut everything. They uh, contaminate. It's it's just not nice. So this is thank you, <laughs> thank you for doing this. <laughs> thank you for talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we can't stop talking. We're gonna leave now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed a little bit of sustainability, a little bit of real estate, a little bit of technology, all in Los Amigos. Enjoy Tulum. I sure enjoy being here, and we will see you next time in Miami TV. A todo México con Jenny Cordamaglia por Miami TV.